This is Tom Worsley from Ontario Hiking Trails coming to you from Earl Rowe Provincial Park. Hope you enjoyed that little time lapse. The Jays are freaking out behind me for some reason. So I'm here at my campsite in Rural Row. Been here for three days. Lots of hiking, I'm exhausted. Uh, this is the first fire I've had because I've just been too tired. I just come home, go to sleep. But um, look at my pictures in bed. Look at my photography, my videos. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting home and getting to my computer. But um, I've already done a, a video on Earl Row Provincial Park. So I'm going to do um, a little preview of all the places that I've visited. Just a, just a rundown of, of all the ones I visited and put them all into one video. Just preview each one of them. So stay tuned for full length versions of all these videos coming up. Um, very exciting. Um, I've got a lot of work ahead of me, <laughs> but uh, it's been it's been a great three days. And next week, next week I'm in um, Rockwood Conservation Area, and it's on the Bruce Trail as well. So I uh, I'm not getting much uh, break. I'm on holidays from my auto parts job for two weeks, and uh, I've got more exercise in three days than I've gotten in the last six months. <laughs> Anywho, and then uh, I do have um, uh, a time lapse of the uh, lookout here at Earl Row Provincial Park, which ha they have a pretty good, decent looking lookout. Um, I went up there last night and, and did some time lapse photography and, and some photos of the night sky. So um, I'll show you those somewhere throughout the video. Um, if you're new to Ontario Hiking Trails, please subscribe. There is a subscribe button down here on my left and on your right. Click on the red subscribe button, then click on the bell and click all, and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. So we'll start out with where I went on Monday, which is the day that I arrived here. And uh, I'm just looking at my cell phone because I can't remember anything. <laughs> I could write it down. Um, the Boyne Valley Provincial Park is the first one that I visited. And it's just um, in, in a little town called Primrose. And um, really, really nice. Uh, the Bruce Trail runs right through it. There is a, a parking lot. Um, Bruce Trail of Dufferin County parking lot which is where I parked and then uh, hiked down the road to the to the Boyne Valley Lookout Trailhead. Um, that was a really nice spot.
after that, on the same day, I hit uh, the Bruce Trail, Moomar Hills parking lot. Um, it's just off a of side road 10 in uh, the little town called Whitfield. And uh, again, I'll put, I'll put maps to all these in, in the videos that I make, and especially on my website, my website, OntarioHikingTrail.com. Um, I'm trying to put as many locations as I possibly can on there without disclosing Crown Land. Um, Crown Land, I'm not gonna give away locations, but uh, Bruce Trail parking lot, yeah, that's, this one, uh, this Bruce Trail Momar Hills parking lot is, is right beside a place called Rock Hill, former outdoor concert venue. But it was a neat spot, I, I enjoyed it there. Oh my God, it's beautiful in here. I'm hot. So on Tuesday, on Tuesday, I pretty much drove to Collingwood. Um, I was overlooking the town of Collingwood from where I was standing. <laughs> um, Drove to um, the Nottawasaga Lookout Provincial Nature Reserve, and that was a cool, really cool spot. And again, the Bruce Trail ran right through it uh, with a couple of side trails. Um, spent most of the day there. And then um, I didn't want to go anywhere around Collingwood because I was, I'm going to Collingwood tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, I'm probably gonna hit the caves in Collingwood and I don't know if I'll be able to get to any other places around the area or not. There's so many places, but um, I'm so exhausted and, and I've only got one day. So, so after the Nottawasega lookout, um, I went to a little place to the east of uh, Singhampton called Devil's Glen Provincial Park and it was cool. Um, I took a break at the bottom of the, the uh, ski hills, Devil's Glen Country Club and um, right at the, the, the Mad River, <laughs> I called it the Mud River on Facebook, I apologize but um, yeah, so I was, I was um, I don't know what's going on with these J's. So, anyways, the Devil's Glen was was a was a cool spot, and and Bruce Trail running right through it. So I've been on the Bruce Trail for three days, pretty much on and off. Uh, very cool. And today, on Wednesday, I didn't want to do too much today. So uh, I never even got out of the trailer until 1.30 after lunch. And um, I decided I gotta go do something. I can't just sit here and do nothing. But uh, so I went to Hockley Valley Provincial Nature Reserve and hiked around there. It was beautiful. That was a gorgeous spot. Just, uh, east of Orangeville. So many great hiking spots around here and, and the Bruce Trail runs through all of them. So 
So tomorrow morning it's up bright and early and off to Collingwood.